everyone, this is Pastor Femi Akujeno. One of the realities in this life is the fact that people work evil against other people. Now, there are people who don't want to believe that, but it's a reality that there are some people, they work some evil things against another person. They do it because, in some cases, they are jealous of the other people. And so because an individual is jealous of another person, he goes ahead or she goes ahead to do something very evil against that other person. Sometimes it could be that they are jealous of the grace that the other person have. It could be that they are jealous of the peace that the other person is enjoying in their career or in their life in general. Sometimes it's because they are jealous of the place, the position that the person has in life. Or in some cases, they may be jealous of their face, jealous of their beauty, or they look handsome and they're jealous of that. And so because of that, they go and do something. I want to bring to your attention this reality that sometimes you may be going through something right now because somebody who is jealous of you did something against you. Oh, it could be that they have access to you and they have taken your picture, your nail clipping, your hair clipping, your underwear, and they have taken it somewhere and they have done some rituals and it's working against you right now. In some cases, it's that they have access to you and they actually have given you food to eat and you have eaten that food and something has been going on in you and on you ever since. I'm saying to you that these things are real. Sometimes those people who may be working against you right now could actually be family members. Yes, they call them household enemies. It could be a family member, an uncle, an auntie, a parent, a child, you know, a sibling. Sometimes they are the ones behind whatever you are going through. I'm bringing to you the reality of the fact that sometimes you are going through something, not because it's just one of those things, not because it's of your own doing because of a particular mistake that you make, although that's also a reality of his own. But I'm addressing the fact that sometimes you are going through something right now. Things are not working out for you in your career, in your ministry, in your business. Things are not working out for you in your love life, relationship, marriage, because somebody actually did something against you. Sometimes it's a ritual they put together. They put it together using the point of contact that they took from you. They put it together sometimes using an effigy, something that they used to represent you. It could be a voodoo doll or some figurine candle. And they, they have put together something with these items and they are working some kind of witchcraft against you. And you find yourself like just wondering what's going on in my life. Why are things not working out? I'm doing the things I'm supposed to be doing, but things are not working out for me. Well, it's very possible that under the sound of my voice, as you are listening to me, that you may be under a curse, a curse from somebody who don't like you. It could be that a spell has been sent to influence you or influence those who could have helped you, influence those who ought to be in your life, but they change their mind about being in your life because of a spell on them. It's very possible that you're under a jinx or a hex is on you. It's very possible that somebody have done some sacrifices. They took an animal, they killed that animal, they put some evil things together and it's working against you and you are seeing it even in your dreams. Something always chasing you. Something always sleeping with you. Somebody always feeding you in your dreams. And you are seeing some strange things going on in your dreams and you're wondering what this is. I'm sharing with you that there's a reality, and it's the reality of the fact that sometimes people who don't like you, they are working something against you. They can be working it against your church, working it against your business, working against, against your job, or against your ability to get a job, or against your marriage, or your ability to get married. Uh, all kinds of things that they do against people. There is a need to address those things in prayer. General prayers will not do it. There is a need for warfare prayers, targeted prayers, the kind of prayers that we are going to be praying 
at the Healing, Miracle, and Deliverance Crusade. On December 9th and 10th in New York City, in Jamaica, Queens, I will be hosting two nights of the Healing, Miracle, and Deliverance Crusade, 7 p.m. each night. It's going to be held at the Harvest Room. Not only will I show you more about what I'm talking about, but we are going to be praying some powerful prayers, targeted prayers. Can I say to, something to you, children of God? Uh, unfortunately, there are many people in churches. They have been battling with what I'm talking about, what I've been talking about. They have been dealing with these things, and unfortunately, their churches don't address these things. And so they've never prayed the kind of prayers that will break the yoke. They've never prayed the kind of prayers that will deliver them from this kind of stuff that I'm talking about. But that the healing, miracle, and deliverance crusade, we're going to be praying some powerful prayers. We're going to be praying prayers that will cut off and destroy whatever chains that they have put on you. We're going to be praying some powerful prayers that will locate where those effigies are, where those points of contact are, and we're going to set them on fire. We're going to be praying some powerful prayers that will destroy whatever sacrifice has been put together against you. Oh, we're going to pray some prayers that will send fire under the ground, under the sea, in the atmosphere, in the heavenlies, uh, in the, the witchcraft covens, in the demonic altars. We're going to pray prayers that will send fire to all those various locations. And of course, you will be set free. And that's why I want to invite you to come and join me. Maybe you are under the sound of my voice and you have been feeling like something is wrong. Something is wrong. Why is my business like this? Something is wrong. Why am I not making it in my career? Something is wrong. In spite of all the tithing I have done, in spite of all the prayers I have